Okay, I'm here with Steve Gerald, who has a very extra special thing going on here at the Parade of Planes. So I was walking by, and lo and behold, he shows me a smartphone, and there's some pictures of an aircraft that's absolutely beautifully painted. And I wanted him to tell you a little bit about it, because I think we'll be seeing it in a few minutes when the Parade of Planes comes by. So, Steve? The plane is an RV-10 uh, that is called Liberty, and it's painted as a salute to our troops. It's owned by Rodney Gerald, and it was painted by John Starr. He and I struck up a conversation about how to honor the troops on his next uh, aircraft paint job. And uh, we started with just the idea of putting uh, logos from the different branches of the service, which would include the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, and the National Guard. So there's really six different uh, sections of focused artwork. In addition to that, we did some work with uh, an honor for the 9-11 uh, catastrophe that the nation went through, and we have some other symbols like the American Eagle on the tail. It's just a uh, uh, reminder of our freedom. He's named the airplane Liberty, and uh, across the belly of the airplane, he's got a big gold ribbon that says, uh, God bless our troops, and give me liberty or give me death, because Rodney's a real patriot, really proud to say that he has lots of friends that are in the military and being from Arizona we tried to uh, pull together elements of design in the illustrations that reflected uh, either people from Arizona or the state of Arizona and the Arizona National Guard etc. But uh, the project just kind of grew like a, like a snowball coming down a mountaintop where we were just going to have a couple of pretty color blues and then have the logos on there and when he saw my uh, my own airplane, which is a tribute to Eagle or uh, Angels, including the Blue Angels and uh, other pilots that have been an effect on my life, we thought that maybe doing more illustration would be a better way to uh, honor the troops. And so uh, the entire right wing is the U.S. Navy, which includes some of its early history in through some of its most recent times, including the Navy SEALs. And the right and the left wing is a tribute to the Air Force that starts with. Uh, General Chenault, one of the earliest generals in the Air Force, and has a tribute to Jeannie Levitt, who was the first female fighter pilot that flew in the U.S. Armed Services. And uh, it's got a uh, F-16 from the Arizona National Guard and a lot of other different aircraft from the Air Force. Uh, his uh, Army artwork up on the left side of the nose features General George Patton and has a nice portrait of Pat Tillman, who was the Arizona uh, Cardinal football player who after 9-11 decided his talent and skill would be better served back in the Army in the armed services. And he rejoined the Army to go uh, fight for his country again and uh, wound up losing his life. So he kind of got a hero status with the people from Arizona. Up on top of the uh, Engine cowling is a tribute to all the armed services with a nice rendering of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So that could be any of the branches of the services. And uh, that's probably the most dramatic part of the uh, paint job because it renders a single solitary guard standing in front of the tomb. And uh, he's being pelted with driving, sleeting, freezing rain, and he's just standing as guard. And, Anybody who's been to Washington, D.C. and seen this uh, tribute and this uh, process when they change the guards there, I, I just don't know anybody who doesn't get moved by that. So we were really happy to add that to the, the design. 